Aya, yeah. this is Druid Cat. Welcome to part two of creating your own AI influencer. If you haven't seen part one, you absolutely need to start there first. This guide requires Patreon materials, so if you're not supporting me there yet, make sure to do it now. You'll need access to the templates and workflows we'll be using throughout this tutorial. In part one, we built a diverse, high-quality dataset for our AI influencer with plenty of realistic images. Now we're moving on to LoRa, low-rank adaptation training. As mentioned before, LoRa is a small, trained dataset that will serve as an add-on to Flux in our workflows, allowing us to consistently generate our AI influencer as a well-defined character. Our main goal is to achieve consistent appearance across all generations with the primary focus on facial features, while allowing clothes, poses and hairstyles to vary naturally. In our example, the hairstyle won't change much since we didn't implement various hairstyles in our dataset, but I encourage you to include different hairstyles when creating your dataset, as shown in part one. Step one, head over to RunPod and log into your account. If you don't already have one, create it. Select Deploy Pods and switch to Community Cloud. For training, an RTX 4090 will work perfectly. Choose the Flux Gym template and make sure it's the exact version I recommend. Before deploying, adjust the disk space. In Edit Template, increase the container disk to 50 gigabytes and the volume disk to 90 gigabytes. This is essential because the default configuration doesn't allocate enough storage for the Flux model. Once that's done, click Set Overrides and deploy on demand. While waiting for the pod to install, here's a fun fact. Did you know cats are the ultimate multitaskers? They can stare out the window, nap, and judge you all at once. Maybe we should train them to help with LoRa datasets next. Step 2. Once your pod is up and running, hit Connect and open port 7860 to launch Flux Gym. From the drop-down menu, select Flux 1 Dev 2 Pro Single, which is fine-tuned specifically for LoRa training. Remember, LoRa's trained on Flux only work with Flux. Models like SDXL aren't cross-compatible, so always match your base model correctly. We're using Flux because it delivers outstanding realism and detail. Name your LoRa. This can be the name of our influencer. In second tab, we got a trigger word. Let's place a custom word here. Avoid spaces in the name and make it unique. For instance, you could use something like Lyra Influencer. This ensures your LoRa won't conflict with any existing elements in the model. Set VRAM to 20 gigabytes and resize dataset images to 1024. This matches Flux's native training resolution. Step 3. Drag and drop your dataset images into the dataset column. Use Add AI Captions with Florence 2 to automatically describe your dataset. This step ensures the AI accurately distinguishes between constant elements, like your influencer's face, and variable ones, such as clothing, hairstyles, poses, or environments. Adjust Repeat Train Per Image and Max Train Epochs. While you can leave the defaults, I recommend training between 1,000 and 2,000 steps for optimal results. Too many steps can lead to overtraining, where your influencer starts looking too similar to the dataset images. Finally, set sample image prompts to generate sample outputs every 300 steps. We need to separate them by pressing the Enter key. This helps you monitor progress and ensures you're on track without overtraining. I've entered four example prompts in various environments here. As a result, the system will generate four sample images every 300 steps. This allows us to roughly track the progress of our LoRa training and see how the model evolves over time. We'll set the total number of steps to 2,400 for this example, which is more than necessary. But it serves as a demonstration and an experiment to show how the process works. If you want to reduce the number of steps, you can adjust repeat trains per image 
or max train epochs. For now, we'll leave it as is and generate four sample images every 300 steps to monitor progress. The last step before starting the training is to publish your LoRa. Go to the Publish tab. Here, you'll need a Hugging Face token. If you don't already have a Hugging Face account, create one now, as you'll need it to save your trained LoRa. How do you get a Hugging Face token? Go to Hugging Face. I attached a link in the description. After creating your account, click on your avatar, then select Access Token from the drop-down menu. Choose the fine-grained token option, give it a name, it doesn't matter what you call it, and copy the token. Paste it into the appropriate field in the Publish tab. For security reasons, I won't share my token here. Keep your tokens safe, as they should never be exposed to the public. In the Repository name field, enter the name of your influencer or your LoRa. This will help with easy identification later. Set repository visibility to private, as this will likely be something you'll work on personally and don't want to share publicly. Step 4. Return to the Flux Gym tab, and now everything is ready. Click the Start Training button and the training process will begin. From this point on, you can monitor the logs in the lower console. If the steps are progressing as expected, it means everything has been set up correctly and your LoRa is now training. Flux Gym will automatically generate multiple LoRa files at different training stages. This is incredibly helpful because if your final LoRa ends up overtrained, you can roll back to an earlier version, such as the 600 step file, for better results. As the training progresses, sample images will generate every 300 steps based on the prompts you provided. These snapshots let you monitor how well your influencer is developing. Look out for signs of overtraining, such as images that look too similar to your dataset or repetitive poses. Step 5. At the end, once our training is complete, we return to the Publish tab. Here, we need to select the correct file path. Click on the tab and choose the appropriate path as it appears there. Step 6. Click Upload to Hugging Face. Your trained LoRa will be saved to your Hugging Face account, along with the sample images generated during training. To verify, log into Hugging Face, go to your profile and check the model section. You should see your trained LoRa, along with its corresponding files and metadata. Download the file, which will be named something like Lyra.SafeTensors, and keep it handy for testing. Step 7. Once your LoRa is uploaded and verified, it's time to clean up. Go back to Run Pod, click Stop Pod, and then Terminate Pod to free up resources and avoid unnecessary charges. Don't worry, your LoRa is safe and sound on Hugging Face, so you won't lose your hard work. Step 8. Deploy a new pod on Run Pod. You can use an RTX 4090 or even an RTX 3090 for this part. Select Change Template and choose my Patron-exclusive template with preloaded Flux workflows. If you haven't supported me on Patreon yet, now's the perfect time. You'll gain access to these ready-to-go tools that make testing effortless. Once the pod loads, open the two required ports. 3020. 8888. Jupyter Notebook. Step 9. In Jupyter Notebook, navigate to your file system. Open the folder comfy.ui. Go to Models. Enter the LoRa folder. Drag and drop your trained LoRa file into this folder. Once uploaded, return to Comfy UI and open the Workflow section. Step 10. Select the workflow text to image with upscaler and analog photography filling. This workflow will automatically generate an initial image based on your prompt, upscale the image for higher resolution, Add analog noise to enhance realism. In the Load LoRa node, select your LoRa from the drop-down list. If it doesn't appear, refresh your browser. Step 11. Input your prompts to describe the influencer you envision. Get creative. Include details like the environment, mood, style 
or specific traits. For example, the workflow will generate four images, but focus on the final one, which will be upscaled and refined. The analog noise adds a subtle touch of realism, making the output feel like a professional photograph. Step 12. For advanced testing, open the Flux tools. In painting, out painting, depth, canny, redux, workflow. This workflow offers powerful customization options. You can use out painting to expand your image, perfect for adding larger environments like beaches or forests. Apply in painting to fix or change specific elements, such as altering the influencer's outfit or hairstyle. Use canny to preserve structural outlines while applying changes. Experiment with depth maps to make broader adjustments without focusing on outlines. Let me briefly explain what each one does. First, enter your prompt in the Setup section. For example, Canny modifies your image based on its outlines. To illustrate, I used a sample image of a cat. Canny transformed the picture while preserving the structure of the original, creating a new but similar composition of the cat. Now we'll upload an image of our influencer, input different prompts, and generate an expanded version of the image. Using outpainting, we'll extend the area of a beach scene. Enable the outpaint workflow and disable the others. Enter prompts describing how the expanded image should look. Then, click play icon, and you'll see that the image has been realistically and seamlessly extended, adding more of the beach area. You can do this with any image, including your own photos from your computer. This is a very powerful tool. Additionally, the workflow includes a depth map option, which works similarly to Canny, but is slightly less precise, which is good in many cases. The same workflow also includes in painting, which lets you modify specific parts of an image. By selecting Open in Mask Editor, you can paint over areas you want to change, such as replacing or enhancing specific details. Efficient results. It's perfect for experimenting and creating something new on the fly. For example, in the in-painting workflow, I demonstrated how to change the influencer's dress. I uploaded an image, painted over the dress using the mask editor, saved the changes, and then generated a new image. The result was exactly as described in the prompt, the influencer wearing a different dress. You can also quickly generate images using text-to-image turbo if you want fast. Now, it's your time to play. I highly recommend experimenting with other LoRa's, such as Copac's Realistic Dreamlight or Flux Realism. Once you're satisfied with the results, save your creations. I explained this already in part one how to do it effortlessly and fast. Remember to stop the pod and terminate it when you are done. Congratulations. You've successfully trained and tested a versatile AI influencer. This method goes far beyond basic one image training, giving you the tools to create high quality, adaptable characters, perfect for social media, branding, or creative projects. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join my Patreon for exclusive templates and workflow access. Need personalized guidance? I'm on Fiverr. Whether you're building the next virtual celebrity or just exploring AI creativity. Direct message me for one-on-one -on -one sessions where we can dive deep into your specific project needs. Remember, practice is key, so experiment with these workflows, push boundaries and let your creativity flow. See you in the next adventure. Hey!